Guys, guys, guys! The new trailer for Cab Cretaceous Season 3's drop! Should we watch it? Let's go! Jurassic World. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just of Camp Cretaceous. And weirdly, it is in Japanese. Now, before you do any uh, say anything, I don't really know that much Japanese. And I haven't actually been doing my lessons for, oh God, Nagai either, a <laughs> long time. So most of what I remember in Japanese is muscle memory. Out of all the languages that it could have been, Japanese, you know what? I'll take it, I'll take, it could have been anything, Japanese, I think when it comes to um, what they're saying, you can break down without knowing what the characters are saying. So what we're going to do, we're going to watch it all the way through, uh, and then we'll we'll sort of break it down. First, we're going to watch it all the way through without like, you know, so we'll sort of all take it in, and then we'll break it down scene by scene. Uh, so first off, should we just just watch it? Just get, get straight down to BAM! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Go! So that was their attempt, I assume, to get off the island. Which didn't go didn't go well. Ah, so saying this time will be different or something. They try to escape many times apparently. <laughs> That's a model of Ah, Kenji! He's got me! He's got me going on here! <laughs> oh, E750. Okay. Right, so this was E750. This is the big thing. This is their, like... Their Indominus Rex. Is, uh, is E750. That, ooh, okay. Ooh, is that the Raptor Squad? That could have been blue. I mean, it, well, it has to be blue, right? Because they're all dead. <laughs> okay, this is E750. Well, they have power. They made an electric fence. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I got the, got the claw that, uh, it would have if it's a... Raptor hybrid. They so don't know, doesn't know. Jurassic World. <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> Whoa! 21st of May is when this is gonna come out. Interesting, okay. Um, right, well, so, I mean, to start off, all, all the, um, I don't I can't even remember what the, the main characters are called. He just says goodbye, Jurassic World here. Janet. Yeah, he just. I love ju the way they're just like it's English. Jurassic <laughs> World. He just says goodbye. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we have them trying to escape. I assume that this might be like. Yeah, why does Kenji have my facial hair? What's going on here? <laughs> he can't grow any new can I? <laughs> uh, so this is obviously one of their final attempts, or one of many attempts. That they have, uh, they've, they've tried to escape the island. If we skip ahead here, this seems to be crashed helicopter. Oh, interesting! I never even noticed that. I mean, what, what does she actually say there? Like, like I said, my, my Japanese is not the best. Um, I assume it's they've, they've tried many different. I mean, they've tried many different things. Says something about this time. Um, you've got like what seems to be gyrospheres. Which have crossed through. You've obviously got the helicopter that she's just cropped out, crossed out, which I think is that one. You've got a kayak. So this is obviously loads of their escape plans that have happened. And I mean, they, they can't just stay on the island indefinitely. Um, and obviously this is all still taking place between Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom because the volcano hasn't erupted and everything's still there. Are their character models looking a bit different? I don't know. I think they might be changing. Uh, or is it just Kenji that's got like a... Uh, Got facial hair. So they obviously st like stumble upon 
Now, this isn't the visitor center. I wouldn't assume this is the visitor uh, center because anybody who knows it would know that it does not have big glass windows at the side of the door. So this could be a mansion or something. Kind of gives me trespasser feels. You just need John Hammond whispering in your ear now how bad it all went. Uh, I get the feeling that this might be... Um, Kenji's, because I think somebody, some people have mentioned it about Kenji's, uh, like dad or something had a villa on the island or something like that. However, it's overgrown, so why would he own an overgrown building? It could be the visitor center from a different angle, or they've just retconned it slightly and forgot about it <laughs> because it's overgrown. The, the 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 architecture on the door is 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 pretty much the same as it would be with with the old Jurassic Park style. It's a furi tatimono, uh, so old building. Uh, <laughs> so totomo uh, furi tatimono, They're very old. Um, and then, so we've got the characters, they, they sort of move in. Why was now doing this with VLC player? God damn it, this is way better. Okay, now, now we can actually scroll through. Oh, it's brighter. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so when they're in this mansion, we get the first preview of Monolophosaurus. Very strange hallway. Very reminiscent, of course, of Jurassic Park with the raptor and Lex and Tim with the jello. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see, we're seeing three new dinosaurs, minimum. We're seeing Monolophosaurus. We're seeing uh, uh, Dr. Wooosaurus. Uh, <laughs> we're seeing E750. And we're also seeing um the demorphodons so maybe this is another one of their escape attempts um but i don't i don't understand how it could be an escape attempt were well, you going to just paraglide over the ocean for miles it's not gonna work <laughs> so obviously they've, they've tried to escape from somewhere um and they've had to adopt this uh, paraglider Steal! Steal the paraglider. I can't remember the actual name. I apprehend, but I don't think that's the right word. Uh, and then this is them at their makeshift house, which I... I don't know. This is either midway through or I would say at the end. This could be the final showdown between E750. Now, the weird thing is we get a, a video of Dr. Wu over here if we just watch a little bit all the teaser shots the incubator the uh the the door with the monorail sign and then if we slow this frame by frame yeah that's e750 okay so weird we have e750 what seems like kills dr wu now we know that's not the case dr wu doesn't that layer that eye that eye is e750 it could be Indoraptor, but I don't I don't know if Indoraptor has the eye. But from what we've seen so far, especially at the end, I think we get to see E750's eye. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is uh, the Scorpius Rex. Uh, first ever look at it in Camp Cretaceous. People have drawn concept art. Mattel has already been in touch with me about the toy video and has said, would you mind please taking that down? However, the original video you didn't ask to take down and other YouTubers that have made videos on the toys have not taken it down. But you know what, Mattel? I'll do it for you. I'll take it down. Uh, so we've got the uh, we've got the Scorpius Rex there. First ever look at it. Uh, having the... I mean, we don't get to see much more of it than we already have, which is just like a closer view of the eye, except for this time we get to see its spikes. It's black, uh, a bit like Indoraptor, which uh, I don't even know if I can say about the toy. Other people have now got the toy that shows in the back. Oh, but anyway, I, like this whole situation with the toy of E750 has just left a really bitter taste in my mouth when it comes to Scorpius Rex and the way it's just been handled. I know not, not only did Mattel get in touch with me, but they got, they got in touch with a couple of other uh, dinosaur tubers and you know people who cover Jurassic Park content about taking it down. And it really felt like uh, Mattel would just, I don't know. It's like, it's already out there. What are you doing? And the original video we've, we got our stuff from is still up and you're letting it be up. It's either some favoritism by Mattel and Universal 
which I feel like wouldn't be hard to see because I feel like there definitely are certain creators that Universal are favoring over others. Me not being included. Mattel have reached out to me. I've worked with Mattel in the past. But Universal, it's strange because I've met somebody from Universal and they said, oh, we know all about you, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, and I didn't get a chance to really talk to them. But I was like, oh, they Universal do know I exist. Yet, never reached out. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm tooting my own horn. It's just like, it just feels a bit like... Oh, okay. I mean, you just don't care. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, brilliant. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, like, I'm not saying they need to get in touch with me. It just feels like a bit, you know, when you've been supporting something for so long and you have received zero acknowledgement for it um, by by the people. Not that I'm saying, you know, just because you support something, they need to get in touch with you. But I don't know. It just feels like if you type in Jurassic World on YouTube, at least one of my videos will come up. But anyway, um, I still love this franchise and I will keep on, I will keep on, I will keep on covering it without getting a little badge of participation from Universal. We'll still do it. <laughs> so we have the introduction to the Demorphodon. Not, not just one Demorphodon, freaking tons of them. I don't know where they, where they all came from. I mean, we've seen in a clip that isn't in this one actually, that they stumble upon a nesting ground of Demorphodons. So I'm assuming this is where they all come from. That's the reason why there is no Pteranodons. Um, I think we did see Pteranodons in the last season or was it the end of season one when they, they were attacking the monorail? I think that's when we saw them. Maybe we haven't seen them since the end of season one. But um, we're on Demorphodons now, guys. Demorphodons. Uh, we're obviously going to see Monolophosaurus. Ooh, what is that? That looks like a makeshift taser. We've got like a battery cell attached to it and it looks like a taser. It looks like a gun. Uh, <laughs> but I assume it's... It could be a spear gun, maybe? But I, I, I mean, they're just turning Kenji into me now. I think. I think that's, I think that's uh, Mattel and Universal's and Netflix's way of getting me in. The uh, <laughs> we'll just make him look like they gave me. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, we've also got some other here. W60M6A0. So we had E750. So we've got W60. So. I wonder if in the future we're going to see these addressed in a little way. Like, I mean, basically what they're doing now, the way uh, ESM50 has been built up has been very clever. Throughout the whole series, there's been little hints of this hybrid. I'm assuming this is canon. If you're a diehard fan, then obviously it means a lot to you. Um, but in another way, this, like I said, if this is canon, they could just say, oh, this, they could bring another hybrid up from nowhere and just say, there it is. That's the hybrid. <laughs> and maybe that's what they're planning on doing. What is this player? This isn't VLC. What's going on? So they obviously seem to go somewhere and find out. This might be in the mansion. Now, if we have a look, a little look around, we got a, some posters or a window and then some leaves. So it could be when they, they enter this. And actually, I think it's, yeah. So we got, they, they enter the mansion. Uh, inside the mansion, they find a monolophosaurus or it could be just a hybrid. Okay, this kind of has, looks like the emergency shed that um, Ellie Sattler came down to find uh, uh, Arnold. Is it Richard Arnold? Uh, so this is actually kind of a lab. This is separate from the um, the mansion it appears to be. Um, but I don't know, I'm looking forward to this. This, this looks awesome. Um, when, obviously no Indominus Rex. We have, now if we go frame by frame with this raptor, I don't know if I've left it too late. Uh, yeah, that's blue. That's blue. You see it for, for like one frame right there. Oh, it may be even more. Yeah, it, it, hmm. it, could, it looks like it's going to be blue, right? Because you've got this, this bluish tint here on the eye and it looks like a little bit up here. So I'm assuming that that's, this is probably going to be blue. I mean, it can't be any other raptor, right? Um, unless one of them survived, it's kind of the same color. I think if you had a side by side of what we've seen blue look like in this franchise, you'd probably be able to easily determine that this is definitely blue. Uh, I wonder what this car is. Are they still driving around? Do they still have cars? I didn't even know about that. Okay, that looks weird. <laughs> that little cliff is just like, yeah, it's a cliff. Obviously, she's running away from something. Don't know what she's running away from. Um, could be more Baryonyx, could be a Ceratosaurus like we've seen before. This, this is really interesting. They've made their own compound. Um, and we see E750 sort of brush up against it. Uh, and actually no sign of Bumpy. 
no sign of Bumpy whatsoever. Now, that could be the reason why they have this little outer electric fence is, you know, Bumpy can't go in the treehouse. It's a bit too big. So they have like a secure bit for Bumpy to live in. So there we go. It rubs up. Now, it does not look like it's very stable. So we have the... They've obviously tried to reinforce it somewhat. Putting the... Uh, putting planks of two by fours against the uh, fence, which wouldn't really do much uh so obviously they turn it on they put that and then they turn it on they tied some rope around the uh the fence to keep it keep it upright uh keep it together now i don't know about you but i cannot see for the life of me <laughs> Doko, where is it <laughs> and then of course we get the teaser now universal know that the hybrids are the main selling points of any franchise oh sorry yeah, franchise any movie it appears to be um, which is why um, the last of the movie fr in the franchise, Dominion, is going to be interesting. Because with Jurassic World, we had Indoraptor, sorry, Indominus Rex. With Fallen Kingdom, we had Indoraptor. And with Camp Cretaceous, now this is the big one. This is the one they've been building towards the whole time. And it feels like, it's a bit like Disney in a way that they're just stuck in a rut. It's like, ah, we'll just do remakes. They sell money. Remake, remake, remake. Remake all the Disneys. And now with uh, Jurassic World, it's like hybrids. Hybrids make the money. Hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. Uh, you get one, you get one. Uh, Fallen Kingdom. Oh, Indoraptor. Uh, come gracious. Scorpius Rex. Well, I don't know. Crap name. Who cares? <laughs> um, uh, so I don't... I, I, I get the feeling that we might get a hybrid with the final movie, like. <laughs> but who knows? I mean, this is, seems to be what's working, and for a reason. Kids love the the hybrid thing, the mystery. <gasps> what could it be? You know, maybe it's this fused with this. <gasps> Theories! And, and that's what drives a lot of it, I think. But from this trailer... Um, I think it, it's, it doesn't feel like it's going to end. It doesn't feel like there's any escape <laughs> for the characters so far. Unless what they did, they showed at the beginning. Because this is what happens. We've got, uh, we've got the, the, the costumes of the characters. I mean, of course, we've got Ben, who, I don't know, it's like my least favorite character now. Just because they tried too hard with Ben to make him, you know, because he was all, like he said, a complete 180 with his character. Now he's Rambo for whatever reason. I don't know why. Because he survived a little bit by himself and therefore became tough as nails. Um, I just want to have a quick look at the costumes because I think, yeah, they're always dirty. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I just thought maybe if it was at the end, then maybe there was something we could uh, gather from their, their sort of overall costumes that they didn't have now that they do have during, you know, the rest of this. So we could conclude that maybe this could be afterwards, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like this could be, uh, the, 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 it'll probably start with this scene. That, that's why the trailer's starting with it. And there you go, their sail has ripped, it flies away, and they get washed up back on the island and say, oh, it looks like they were trying to get to a downed helicopter. That's interesting. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. I don't know. But anyway, maybe they do get the helicopter. They get something. They get access codes. They get into this new place. They find the file of Dr. Henry Wu telling them about the hybrid and that maybe it can only be controlled a certain way. They find some sort of tidbit of information about it through that. Um, that's why they set up the electric fence. Maybe it doesn't like electricity or electricity deactivates its camo or god knows what um and just the rest of this ensues um them tr now they have they i would assume they kill it um i feel like this isn't going to be the end of camp cretaceous there's probably going to be a season four i mean let's be honest this is the only real thing that's tidying us over between the the, the last movie and fallen kingdom because we're getting nothing no support from frontier when it comes to jurassic world evolution because pretty much mods have taken over and i think frontier knows that and they're happy just turn a blind eye and let the mod the mods just make good content for the game and they're probably busy working on the next Jurassic game. And the movie is still being made uh, in post and all that jazz. But anyway, guys, just a short little video, even though it probably hasn't been that short, has it? Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. Look, again, like I said, when this comes out, we'll uh, we'll have a watch party like we do with the season one and season two. It, it will probably binge it all in one day, all in one session. And I'll leave that up on the channel so you guys can watch it. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And uh, until next time, Kondo. Ja, mata ne.